YouTube, it's your boy Rook here. I'm going to be doing my part two of my toy hunting video on Black Friday. Uh, the first one I did on Thanksgiving, uh, which again, happy Thanksgiving, a little belated. I do apologize. The videos are going up uh, on the, today's date, which will be on Friday, Black Friday, for both videos. I wanted to get them both recorded first and edited so I could put them up simultaneously back to back. Uh, yesterday we did get the, the gold-plated chromed BB-8 at uh, Hot Topic, which is something I've been looking to get all really, really badly. Uh, today I'm going to be hitting up a couple places, definitely, for uh, stuff. I know I'm going to be going to Tate's Comics. I want to get... he has a $25 and a $50 mystery box. I haven't decided which one I want to get yet. The 50 one is just double the size of the 25 one, so I'm not entirely sure what I want there yet. I'm going to swing by a couple other places. I know Targets have not gotten, at least in my area, in the South Florida area, they have not yet gotten the four special Batmans, which was the Radioactive Batman, the Negative Batman, negative I think it's Negative Man Batman, the Polar Camo Batman, and the Midas Touch Batman yet. I want to get all four of those. And the funny thing is, I'm not even a really big Batman pop guy. I just seem to be getting a lot of them. I mean, I'm not... I'm going out of my way to get them. I just have to be stumbling upon them, and I'm I'm cool with that. I have no I have no real issue with that. Um, I'm going to be hitting maybe a GameStop or two. I'm not getting the mystery boxes. I just want to state that for you guys now. You might you know turn the video off, unfortunately, but I'm not getting any of the mystery boxes. Uh, to me, I do. Uh, I, those are four pops or five pops. I don't want. Um, I do like Power Rangers, don't get me wrong. I do like Power Rangers. The gold metallic Power Ranger looks really, really cool, but I don't really want it. The two Mega Mans and the two Dragon Balls, in my opinion, is lazy from Funko. To do the same guy and different uh, paint schemes is just stupid. Uh, I like the one I did yes last year because of the variety of the pops. I don't like how they executed the packaging. This year, they actually got better packaging. They actually sealed the entire box up, so there's no tampering with it, and I like that they made better measures to fix that problem. Uh, that, as I was thinking that the GameStop mystery box uh, a month or so ago, which was the Titanfall box, was basically their testing ground to try this new packaging method. I do like what they did. Um, besides that, maybe a, a Walmart or two. Let's see what I can come up with. So, uh, wish me luck, guys. I'll record as I go along. Hopefully, I'll get some cool finds, and I'll see you guys shortly. Take care. Okay, guys, we're inside Tate's right now, and he has stacks of the $25 mystery boxes, as you can see here. He also built, if I can kind of get around this angle, $50 mystery boxes, and he has a few $100. I'm not sure between this guy here or this guy here. I'll make a final judgment call. I'll surprise you all at the end of the video. Check back in soon. Okay guys, the hunt is over for Black Friday. I only picked up one item as you can see here. I decided on the $50 mystery box over at Tate. What you hear of, it's $50 in cost. It has 150 bucks worth of uh, stuff inside the box. So I have knife and scissors with me at all times. So we're gonna break into this box and see what we get. Um, it had about, about a dozen of them through the entire store. And uh, I didn't know which one to, to grab. I, I was still debating on the $25 or the $50 box. I didn't want to get another $100 box. I still have tons of stuff in the $100 box left. Um, I'm going to be doing this mainly for giveaways. I think that'd be really, really cool to do for giveaways for you guys. So we break this box open. We get a ton of stuff. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this is really, really neat. It is the 13th. Brand Peterson's The Mad Butcher, which is kind of interesting. It's a mask. Um, let's actually, uh, let's actually open it up and put it on. Why not? That'd be kind of fun to do. It's a plastic mask. Uh, I think they do, uh, blind boxes with these things in it as well. So let's actually put this on. That looks kind of cool, huh? What do you think? Let's, uh, let's actually wear it and hopefully you can hear me okay. Ah, nah, we'll take it off. <laughs> it's, too, it's too muffled. It won't sound really good. So we got a mask, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have here the Vampire Family Car Decals, which is kind of cool. Different, different sort of product. Um, yeah, you can put it on your car. It's black and white colored, which is something different. They got a Smorkin' Labbit, Sexy Time, which is one of the little uh, vinyl rabbit uh, lines they have. They have a lot of these. I actually have a Green Lantern one, which is right here, which is from the same family, just so you guys know, because I am Green Lantern crazy, so <laughs> I do have this one as well, which I got a taste, just so you guys know. All right, so, all right, next, we have a Queen Beatrix, some type of bee which I guess you would stick somewhere. Jumping critter with suction cup. That's kind of different. 
kind of cool. I'll probably put all the stuff in the light box so I can show you guys. Ooh, we got a pop. It's a Tokyo Ghoul. I don't have this one. I don't have any of the anime stuff, but he looks kind of interesting. Kind of weird tendril things coming off his back. That's kind of cool. Different. Very different. This box is full of stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. We have here some display stand for Mini Mates. So any Mini Mate people, let me know if you need any display stands. We have a, from the reaction line, we have a Breaking Bad, Jesse Pinkman as the cook in the reaction line, which is kind of interesting, kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Blind box, we have Guy Sorry Agent, or something, it's gonna be Sorry Angel, which is this little orange guy here. Kind of interesting. We have more of these uh, Pinocchio uh, Honest Boy Party Picks. I've gotten these before, which is kind of neat. So far, nothing really bad in this box. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. It is a Halo Trilogy Complete Original Soundtrack, guys. Damn. Ford CD set. That's pretty cool. Wow. That Now that's worth some money. This is nice. This is real nice. So there's good stuff in this box. I mean, I, nothing bad. Oh, that's kind of cool. We have, uh, I want to say this is oh, Phantom Stranger. This is from the Eagle Moss line. He's upside down, of course. I'll kind of turn him right sides up so you can see what he looks like. Again, all this stuff will be in the light box so you guys will see it. Another reaction figure. This one we got uh, Dallas from the Alien set, which is kind of cool. All the figures, of course, on the back. I'm still, I'm still shocked over this. This is really, really cool. I, <laughs> wow. Oh, we got a, oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We got a Dorbs. We got a Thor, a Thor Dorbs, which is really, really nice. I like that one. <laughs> All right. We got another one of these cool IWG Astro uh, Krieg guys. He's a little uh, spaceman, guys. I've gotten a few of these from uh, Tate before, which is really, really neat. Keep hitting this stuff here. I keep knocking into it. Uh, more blind boxes. Oh, this one's cool. I like these these ones. The Art of War uh, boxes by Kid Robot. I think it's Kid Robot. Yeah, Kid Robot. These are really, really cool. I've actually gotten... Uh, which one did I? I got that one before. This one right here. That's the one I've gotten before. I really hope to get one of the samurai ones at the bottom. Uh, but their their rarity is not. Uh, a couple of them are really really hard to get. They have uh, one is a two and twenty. One's a one and twenty. So it, it's kind of uh, sketchy if you can get them. Ooh, another Doctor Who Titan vinyl. I know someone who actually would want this. I know a Doctor Who fan would really really like this. So I'm gonna give that to them. We're gonna keep going. We have a, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> a Slimer uh, bottle opener from Ghostbusters. That's really, really sweet. I like that, that's cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, next we have a plush. It is, oh, is this a, it's a Labbit from the, um, they actually have a line of things for Labbit. I think that's what that guy was there. And where is he at? Yeah, this guy here is a Labbit as well. The, uh, the, the sexy time guy. So Labbit here and Labbit plush here, which is kind of interesting. I like that, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a My Emoji. It's a Despicable Me My Emoji. We'll uh, crack into this guy and see what we get. And we get the, oh, that's kind of cool. It's the one with the glasses. I don't know which guy this was, but as you can see here, it's the guy with the glasses. He looks kind of cool, kind of cool. Different, I don't have any real My Emoji, so, uh, to me, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, it's different. We get a Crossbones Pocket Pop Civil War, which are very, very cool. Uh, I've gotten a few of them. Uh, the Harley Quinn one I did, my, uh, when I did my Walmart box that was inside that. So far, nothing bad, everything good out of this box. And then we get a dud, we get a paddle ball. <laughs> we get a paddle ball. So everything in the box is good except for that so far. Um, we get a, Another kid robot thing. I don't know what it would be. It is Yummy World. I guess it's maybe an ice cream cone. I'm guessing maybe it, maybe an ice cream cone or a piece of sushi. I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know exactly what this really is. Uh, it's maybe some type of Japanese food. I'm thinking. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, and then the big guy, and of course it came. It's loose in the box, which is fine because I think it'd be a very good display piece. It is Iron Man from the Marvel Select line. I think this will be a good display piece. This box is already open, it's, it's opened up. So I don't really have a problem with that. This will be a display item anyway. 
So I'm happy with that. That was probably the really big item in this box. And we get, of course, uh, actually, Tate gave us a Batman mask, which is always a nice thing. And he, oh, oh some more stuff still. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Bank job. They have your money, but you have their pen. <laughs> so it's a, uh, a pen that you would see maybe at a bank, which is really, really cool. Uh, it says here that you know, basically you just secure it. You just secure the bank. Uh, you just secure the pen to something, which is like you would see at a bank. Hence the name Bank Job. And we have a couple buttons. We have a DC Comics button. We have some Batman buttons. Old school Batman look here, which I like a lot. We got some Batman buttons, as you can see here. And we got a Fear, I guess Fear of the Walking Dead button as well. And as Tate always does in these boxes, he always gives us a bunch of comics. Here, let's see what we get. We got here Vampy Vicious Rampage, some type of uh, indie book. We have Marvel Point One here. We have the Avengers Infinity Verse, number one. We have Superman Doomed, number one, which is really cool. Cool book. I haven't been keeping up with Superman. Empress, which is again another uh, indie book that's done by Mark Miller, Icon, which I think is a Marvel brand now. Jimmy Palmati's uh, Queen Crab uh, tray paperback. This is the second one I have. I actually have one signed by Palamati as well out of the last box. Civil War for the uh, free comic book day. We have the Champions, which is kind of cool because on the back, it, Tate actually has a specific book for his store. You, there's all the uh, his uh, store hands that are in the back of the book, and he has the Tate's icon on the bottom here. So he actually has his own book, which is really cool. Ooh, that's nice. We have a Dark Knight Master Race, number one. Uh, Frank Miller book. And we got here a really big Captain America 75th Anniversary Magazine, which is just a magazine for Captain America. Really nice magazine. Uh, pretty cool, actually. I like it. But I would say, guys, this box, I would say it's well over $100, I would say. It's at least 100 bucks. I don't know if it would be 150 It'd be pretty close. I mean, counting out the comics, possibly. But a really good box. I'm really, really happy with this box. The only bad thing I saw out of this box was that silly paddle ball thing. But I think the star of it was the Iron Man and the uh, Halo Collection, the complete original soundtrack. That's really cool. This is five discs, it says, I think. Four CD set. Plus the, whoops, something fell, plus the Halo Wars bonus DVD. Includes the opening cinematic campaign of the campaign, behind the scene recording sessions, and previous tracks. So, I mean, this is really, really cool. This was the star of this box, in my opinion. Uh, so, guys, I hope you like this uh, toy hunt for Black Friday. I think it went really, really well. Uh, remember to like my videos. Always click that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.